So I've been sharing more and more training of the middle school and high school athletes that I work with on social media. And one thing that's been brought up to me in response, mostly from younger coaches or coaches that are still going through their formal education or different mentorships, or even concerned parents as well, is the idea of progression. So this is Allison. She's going to be in eighth grade this fall. And this is footage of her third ever training session with me. So what I've been getting asked about is how do I progress these athletes into barbell training? So the common thought is to start with something like a goblet squat before putting a bar on your back, or for the upper body doing unilateral dumbbell exercises before letting someone just bench press or overhead press. But the truth is younger kids or even adults who are just new to training don't need to be progressed into barbell exercises. They don't need to goblet squat before they back squat or front squat. The only legitimate reason to goblet squat someone is if they're just not strong enough to put a 45 pound empty bar on their back. You can see Allison here squatting 65 pounds. She's accruing a lot of reps at this weight, some of which are a little bit ugly, but you can see that she's attempting and learning to do the squat with all of the positional landmarks I teach her to hit. You can see she's attempting to maintain a level of extension of her back. She's keeping her whole foot on the ground. She's getting the depth that I want her to get. That's what the medicine ball is there for. It's a depth gauge. Doing goblet squats first for her won't mean that I won't have to teach her all of these things later on with the barbell anyways. If I just start her off with a 25 pound dumbbell, it's not gonna be as productive as the barbell on her back is gonna be. It's not as productive in terms of loading the entire body and teaching her to strain a little bit under load. So I am having Allison overhead press 15 pounds of the dumbbell. That isn't due to any sort of appeal to progression or safety reasons. It's because she isn't strong enough to press a 45 pound empty bar overhead. As soon as she can single arm dumbbell overhead press with like 25 pound dumbbells, it's probably safe to say she's strong enough for a 45 pound bar. So to answer the question of how do I progress people into barbell training, I don't. As long as someone is strong enough to use a 45 pound empty bar, we're going to use it. There really is no legitimate reason to start with something else unless it's just personal preference. As long as you know what you're doing as a coach, you know how to progress things appropriately, you know how to add load appropriately, go ahead and use a barbell right away. So those are just my thoughts when you're introducing someone new to training for the first time. That's all I got for the video. Thanks for watching.